God, just come down the stairs and I'm out of breath. Life with Addison. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley Lovin um, and today I'm going to be talking about an illness that I have called Addison's disease, also known as adrenal insufficiency. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how I got diagnosed, um, symptoms, what even is Addison's disease um, and what happens when treatment doesn't work. Um, so. If you see me looking down here, it's because I'm looking at some of the facts about Addison's disease. Obviously, this is a serious topic and it's really important for me to get the word out about Addison's disease. Um, and through doing that, I don't want to miss anything out or give any incorrect information. Addison's disease, I don't think there's enough information out there about it. Um, a lot of people are uninformed or have no idea what it even is. Um, I've been in situations where I've told people I've had it um, and they've not understood and I've um, gotten ill and they've once again not understood and they've thought I've been lazy or I've made it up or it's very difficult to live with especially when people don't know about it like if you have say diabetes obviously people know a lot about diabetes so they're more inclined to understand and be tolerable about it um, but in the case of Addison's disease, I feel like people tend to be judgmental about things they don't understand. Um, so that's why I want to make this video so I can um, give some more information and give you uh, my experience living with it um, firsthand. Um, so what even is Addison's disease? Um, Addison's disease, also known as primary adrenal insufficiency, um, it's a rare disorder affecting the adrenal glands. Um, these two really tiny adrenal glands are located on top of the kidneys um, and they are supposed to produce two really essential hormones, cortisol, aldosterone um, and um, adrenaline. People are more inclined to know what adrenaline is. When I've told people about my Addison's disease and the fact that I don't produce adrenaline, they always say, does that mean you don't get scared? Does that mean this? Does that mean you can go on a roller coaster and you're fine? No, <laughs> it doesn't affect me in that way. Um, I still get scared. I still scream on roller coasters. So that is a myth. Um, in Addison's disease, the adrenal gland is damaged and obviously therefore it doesn't produce the hormones that it's supposed to. Um, Around 8,500 people in the UK have Addison's disease, obviously myself being one of those. Um, and it typically um, is diagnosed in people aged between 13 and 50 years old. And it affects more women than men. Of course it does. Um, the early stages of Addison's disease is quite similar to um, depression or flu, which is why a lot of people have problems getting diagnosed um, with Addison's disease, myself being one of them. Um, so a lot of doctors also don't know enough about Addison's disease, or at least they didn't when I was diagnosed. Um, I will go more into it when I talk about my diagnosis, um, but a lot of people um, are told that it's other things, or it's in their head, or it'll go away in time, which of course it won't because Addison's disease is a lifelong um, illness. Um, it can only be managed, it can't be cured, unfortunately. Um, but people with Addison's disease may experience the following symptoms. Um, fatigue and extreme lack, lack of energy and motivation. Um, I have good and I have bad days. On a good day, I am motivated to leave the house, I'll go on walks, I'll go on day trips. Um, I'll want to exercise, I'll want to dance, um, I'll have the energy to get up and do things. Whereas on a, a bad day, I don't even have the motivation to leave my bed. Um, all I want to do is sleep all day. Um, I feel sad, I have mood swings, um, I feel angry one minute, sad one minute. Um, I want a hug the next minute, um, it's very up in the air. Um, 
with regards to how which day is going to be. Um, another symptom is muscle weakness. So I can literally come downstairs, go back up the stairs, I can go to the kitchen, come back from the kitchen, and my legs will be all wobbly like I've done a marathon. Um, it just feels like on a bad day, it will feel like I've done a proper heavy hardcore workout at the gym. But obviously, I haven't and I'm not going to get the benefits of that. Um, so it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> yeah. Another one is low mood, like I've talked about. Um, it depends on um, which day. Some days I'm great. Some days I'm really happy, really outgoing, really confident. And other days I'm really anxious, really like ultra worried about everything overthinking everything um so it's crazy it's crazy what the body and the brain can do and um, a big one is loss of appetite and unintentional weight loss um i've always been a skinny girl but especially when i've had addison's disease um when i was diagnosed i was basically a skeleton on legs um and with Addison's disease, it's very difficult to put on weight, um, or it is in my case anyway. Um, I could eat bucket loads of food and I don't think I'd probably put more on than a couple of pounds. Um, I've always kind of stayed at the same weight, even when I've eaten loads and loads and loads, like I did at Christmas and like I did in New York. Um, I'm just always a skinny Betty. But oh well. Um, some of the big ones are dizziness. Um, obviously everyone has those times when they're getting up too fast and they have a dizzy spell and it feels like the room's spinning. Um, but imagine having that every time you get up. Um, if I stood up from the sofa right now, I'd probably have one. Um, it's just a couple of seconds feeling like the room is spinning and feeling like, whoa, um, it's quite annoying. Um, Another big one that people would find crazy is the fact that Addison's disease affects the pigmentation of the skin. Um, in my case, it's made me quite a lot darker than my natural skin tone. I'll see if I'm techy enough to put a picture of me as a teenager on the screen, but my natural skin colour is quite pale. Um, it does affect the pigmentation of your skin, making you your skin darker, makes your gums darker, makes your lips darker, um, it's quite crazy. Um, why does Addison's disease happen? Um, the condition is usually the result of a problem with the immune system um, which causes it to attack the outer layer of the adrenal gland, um, disrupting the production of the steroids aldosterone and cortisol. Um, and this is usually the case for 70 to 90% of cases of Addison's disease. Um, I'm not sure if that's the reason why I got it. Um, it does seem like you get it out of nowhere. I was quite a healthy teenager, quite active, and then suddenly, boom, you've got Addison's disease. It's quite crazy, it does come out of nowhere. Treating Addison's disease, how is it treated? Unfortunately, Addison's disease is not a curable disease um i'm hoping that it will be in the future because it'd be great if i didn't have it anymore but for now i do um at the meantime addison's disease is managed by steroids um and not the steroids that you're thinking of not the who gym goers steroids not those kinds but steroids that basically replace the missing hormones to ensure that your immune system works efficiently um People with Addison's disease may learn to manage their symptoms, which obviously I do. I've had this um, disease for 10 years now. I've kind of learned the tricks of um, listening to my body, um, doubling my medication when I need to in times of stress and in times of um, when I'm not feeling well, um, if I've got um, a cold or a chest infection. Um, but if the levels of cortisol in the body fall significantly not due to taking the medications, um, it can lead to trouble, basically. Um, in the beginning of Addis having Addison's disease, 
I didn't take it seriously enough um, and I used to miss days of taking my medication and it did have detrimental effects. I'd end up in hospital every other month um, being really seriously ill. Obviously I've got to this stage now 10 to 11 years later where I know the seriousness of this illness and I know the effects it can have if I don't take my medication. Um, if you don't take your medication or it's not caught in time, um, the results can be fatal. Um, it's as serious as that. People don't think, because obviously people don't know enough about Addison's disease, they just assume it's not serious, but it really is. Like, hormones are really like detrimental to the workings of your immune system, and if your immune system is not working properly, then it affects all of your body and how it works. It's like one big system. Um, so if one part is broken, it also, it's all broken. Um, so I hope people um, can learn about how important it is to learn about this illness, um, especially if they are working within a certain business. Um, like I've been working as a waitress for, since I was 16, so around 15 years, and it still doesn't get any easier. People still don't know anything about my illness. Um, people judge me on it. Like, it's hard to say, but I understand that people tend to judge um, or be ignorant about things they don't understand. Um, not everyone. Some people are fantastic, but some people um, don't understand it, so don't try to understand it. Um, I've been accused of being lazy, I've been accused of making it up, but it'd be nice to have the people that say that be in my body for a week, and I bet they'd want to give my body back as soon as possible. Um, they would hate it. Um, but you can't do that, so you can only explain and hope they understand. But yeah, treating Addison's disease, um, yeah, it's treated with steroids to replace the hormones which I will have to take for the rest of my life, um, unless obviously there's a cure, which I don't think there will be in my lifetime. But yeah, I have to take um, hydrocortisone um, to replace the, the stuff that's not being made by my body, basically. Um, and I also have to take flutocortisone to replace the salts that my body's not um, producing. With treatment, symptoms of Addison's disease can be largely controlled, which is good um, because obviously in the past where there's not been medication, it has had a, a detrimental effect, can't you speak, um, on many lives in the past. Um, so I'm lucky I'm in a state, um, I'm in a place and time where there is um, medications that I can take um, so I can live a relatively normal normal life um if the medication doesn't work um i've been in situations where i've had a cold or a chest infection or i've just been ultra 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 stressed um and it has brought on an adrenal crisis um an adrenal crisis is basically when you're not, your adrenal glands are still not producing enough of the hormones that are needed. And basically your body goes into shutdown mode. Um, you'll get extreme um, fatigue, you'll have no appetite, you'll be dizzy, um, your skin will get really dark. All the symptoms that I talked about earlier will just worsen and you'll get to the point where you'll be borderline on, um, on of being unconscious, you could go into a coma, um, it could be fatal if you don't get the treatment that you need to, obviously that you'll need to get from the hospital. I need emergency injections of hydrocortisone, I need to be on a drip to get the water back into my body because I'm extremely dehydrated um, and I have to be in hospital for a few days to ensure that I've got, oh pardon me, that I've got everything that I need um, to be able to go back home. Um, and this happened recently for me. Um, it happened um, around autumn, winter time. I was last in hospital. I think it was anyway. Uh, it seems like I'm always in hospital. Um, 
and then the doctors will only release you when they think you're back to 100%. Um, and if they don't think you're back to 100%, you're staying in hospital to they think you are. How I was diagnosed. I was diagnosed, like I said, 10 to 11 years ago. Um, and it was a very difficult time in my life. Um, I was not me. Um, I was basically a skeleton on legs, like I said before. Um, I was in a girl band at the time. I might do a video um, talking about my girl band at another time, but I was in my girl band um, and at first it was like symptoms of a flu. Um, I my mood was extremely low. I was in a bad place, um, mental health wise. Um, and I was losing weight dramatically. Um, the weight was just dropping off me to the point where I think I was like six and a half stone. I'm like nine and a half stone now, so I was three stone lighter than I am now, and I'm still pretty skinny. So you can only imagine how skinny I was at that point. My bandmates thought I had an eating disorder, and I don't blame them to be honest. Obviously, I didn't. I I never had an eating disorder, um, but I had. I would have to rush to the toilet because I had one of my symptoms was nausea, so I'd run to the toilet and throw up. Um, but I had nothing in my stomach, my stomach was empty so I was in pain, I had stomach ache, I had no energy. It got to the point where one of my bandmates had to give me piggybacks to get around London because I could only walk a few steps at a time before collapsing to the ground. Um, and this is like central London, I remember we, was in, um, we were in Covent Garden and people were just staring at me and I, was just, I just wanted to cry because I felt embarrassed and didn't know what was happening to my body. I thought I was dying basically. Um it was it was a bad time. I didn't understand what was going on. Um and no matter what I did, it just was getting worse. Um to the point where my mum told me I want you to come to Sheffield as soon as possible. I want this to be looked into. Um and I remember going to the London Victoria coach station and it took about two hours to do a ten minute trip because I kept having to walk and stop, walk, sit down, walk then stop. Um, and I got there and I randomly saw a girl that I knew from college um, and I was slumped basically over this chair and she was like, you okay? And I was like, no, I feel really unwell. I'm going to Sheffield and then I might go to the hospital. And she basically like made sure I was okay before going. Um, and it got to the point where I was laid on the floor, even though it was dirty and gross. And people were staring at, me, staring at me, probably thinking I was like an alcoholic or a druggie or something. Um, but when you are in a crisis, you literally can't even hold up your body weight without feeling exhausted. It made me super out of breath to sit up straight. So I just had to um, just lay on the floor because there weren't any other choice for me. I was absolutely exhausted and I hadn't even really done anything. I remember being on the coach, slumped over the chair the whole way. It was a four hour um, trip from London to Sheffield. And I just thought, I'm dying. This is, I'm gonna die. Like, this is how, how bad I felt. Um, and it got to the point, my mum saw me when I got off the coach and she couldn't believe her eyes. Um, I was super dark. Um, I was really skinny, like my ribs were poking out, my collarbones were poking out, like they still poke out, but they were like out, out. Um, I had no fat on my face um, and I could barely walk and she had to like literally carry me to the car almost. Um, and she took me straight to A&E. &A. And at first the doctor was like, it's all in your head, you're fine. And my mum and me were like, what? Like, look at me, do I look fine? I'm obviously not fine, I'm really skinny. Like, look at, my skin's darkened in the state of a month. Like, I'm, I'm not eating, there's something wrong with me. Um, and it took this nurse, I don't even remember why she came over to us. And she was like, tell me your symptoms. So I did, and she was like, give me a second. And she came back and she said, you might have Addison's disease. It's a rare disorder. But from the symptoms you've just told me, it sounds like it could be that. And that's when the doctor, who would accuse me of just making it all up, looked into it, did a few blood tests and determined that I did actually have Addison's disease. 
And me and my mum were like gobsmacked because we were like, if it weren't for that nurse, like, I could have died. Because um, I was at a point where my blood pressure was like crazy low. My blood sugar was like two point something. Like I was borderline going into a coma. And if, if it weren't for this nurse having knowledge about Addison's disease, like it's scary what could have happened. But luckily, um, the doctor told me that this is something that's going to affect you for the rest of your life. You're going to have to manage it yourself with medications for the rest of your life. And it is going to have a big impact on your day-to-day -day life. Um, and at the time, I was obviously super upset. Um, but obviously happy at the same time that um, what was wrong with me had been um, determined. Um, and I wasn't just making it up. Um, so obviously now to this day, 10 to 11 years later it still affects me on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, every person that has Addison's disease has a different experience with it. There are some people out there that have never had a crash. They've never had an adrenal crisis. There's some people out there that are always in hospital. There's some people out there that live a normal life. Um, so it's different for every single person. Um, and it's, it's managing medications for weight, height, um, body frame. My experience with it is it is getting better for me. Um, I'm having less crashes, but I still would like more people to understand how it feels. Um, it is constant exhaustion, it's constant dizzy spells, it's constant bouts of appetite, then lack of appetite, it's mood swings. Um, it is difficult and it'd be nice to have more support. I'm lucky to have great friends and a great boyfriend that is extremely supportive. My boyfriend is the one speaking up when we go to a doctor's appointment. Um, I have friends that come and visit me in hospital that um, ask me if I'm okay. Um, so it is slowly getting easier, but it'd be nice to share some awareness about this crazy, crazy illness. So. That's a little bit about Addison's disease, but I will be doing more videos about more illnesses that I have because that's not the only one that I have. I also have hyperthyroidism that affects my thyroid glands and I have angina. So I will be doing videos about both those things um, and together they make a perfect concoction of annoyingness. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and learn a little bit more about my life and what I have to deal with. Um, thank you for watching guys, I'll talk to you later.